OK, you want to create bar charts in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to create a bar chart initially for the revenue figures here. So what I'll do is I'll select the column headings and the data. And then I'm going to go to the Insert tab on the ribbon. And over here in the Charts group, you'll see the Bar Chart button. Now, it's actually called Column or Bar Chart. So if I click on that button, I've got Column Charts at the top here and Bar Charts down here. Now, we'll create both types of charts. So what we'll do is we'll create this 2D column chart. It's called a clustered column chart. Now, this is an object, so it can be moved around your sheet. To move it, place your mouse pointer over this white area towards the top of the chart. And you'll see you get a mouse pointer with four black arrows. Now, if you hold down your left mouse button, you can then drag the chart to a new location. Now, you can also resize the chart by dragging these white circles around the chart. Now, if you want to keep the proportions of the chart the same, as in the aspect ratio, hold down Shift and drag those white circles. Now, there's a number of things we can do to our bar chart in terms of formatting and including or excluding elements within the chart. Now, to include or exclude elements, use this plus button top right of the chart. So, for example, if I didn't want grid lines, then I would just untick this grid lines option here. If I wanted to show data labels above the columns, then I would tick this option here. Now, because I've got data labels here, I probably don't need the vertical axis. To get rid of the vertical axis, what I need to do is go to the submenu for the axis option here. And then I can untick the primary vertical axis, but leave the primary horizontal axis in place. Now, in terms of formatting the chart, for example, I might want to change the size of these data labels. All I would need to do is click on one of the data labels and you see they all become selected. And then I can go up on the Home tab of my ribbon and use this button here to decrease the font size. I can do the same down here. If I select the horizontal axis labels there, I could decrease the font size. I could do the same for the chart text. Now, what if you wanted to change the color of the bars or the columns? What you would do is select one of the columns and you can see that they all become selected. Then up on the Format tab on your ribbon, you can use this Shape Fill menu to change the color of the columns or the bars. Now, what if you wanted one of the bars to be a different color? Well, I'll click outside of the chart. What you would do is you click on that column and you can see it selects all the columns, but then you click on that column again and it deselects the other columns. So then I can change the color of that column. Now I'll click outside of the chart, and now I'm going to think about the width of these columns. I think they're too skinny. Let's see how we can widen the columns. Easy to do, double click on one of the columns, and that'll bring up this task pane on the right of your screen. You should see a gap width option there, and if I decrease the gap width, it increases the width of the columns. Now let's talk about this chart title. You can type whatever you like into this chart box. But another thing you can do is link the chart title to a title that you have within your worksheet. Now, to do that, what you do is you select the chart title, go up to your formula bar, type in equals, and then you click in the cell that contains your title. Then you press enter, and that title will then appear in the chart. Now, you could also do that for axis labels. If I just close this down, if I click on this plus button again, and tick this option, Axis Titles. You can see I get a vertical axis title box and a horizontal axis title box. So if I select the horizontal axis title box, go up to the formula bar, type equals, I can then select this region column heading, press enter. And you can see that text now appears in the box. I can do the same for the vertical axis title. Select the box, go up to the formula bar, type equals, Click in the Revenue column heading, press Enter, and you have your text in the box. I could also change the size of the text in these boxes. OK, so that's your basic column chart. Now, if you wanted to create a bar chart instead, again, you'd select your region and your revenue. 
you go to insert, go back to this column and bar chart button and choose one of these bar charts. I'm just going to choose the standard 2D bar chart. Now you have the same options here. I could get rid of the grid lines. I could show data labels. I could get rid of the horizontal axis. If I double click on one of the bars, I can change the height of each bar, etc., etc. So it's exactly the same process, whether you're creating a column or a bar chart. Okay, so say you wanted to create a bar chart that contained data from non-adjacent columns. So for example, region and profit. Now what I would do is I'd select the region column, hold down control on my keyboard, and select the profit column. Go back to the insert tab on the ribbon, go to your bar chart button, and then I'll just choose a column chart. So you can see now, if I just zoom out a little, that it's now showing the profit data rather than the revenue data. Now you can change the data that's being used in an existing chart. So say I wanted revenue to be displayed in this chart rather than profit. I would select the chart, go to the chart design tab on the ribbon, then go to select data. You can see the profit series being shown here. Make sure that's selected and go to edit. Your series name would now be in B3 and your series values, if I delete what's currently in there, would be in column B. So B4 to B10 rather than C4 to C10. I then click on OK and now I've got the revenue rather than the profit. So what if I wanted to show both sets of data, revenue and profit, within the chart? Delete the existing chart. Now what you would do is select all the data, or just click somewhere within the data, and then go to the Insert tab on your ribbon, go over to your Column and Bar Chart button, and you've got various options. You could show the bar chart as clustered columns. So you can see that the columns are clustered on each category item on the horizontal axis. Now, if I change my mind and I wanted to go for a different type of chart, all I'd need to do is make sure the chart is selected and then go to this Change Chart Type button. And I could choose a stacked column chart. If I click on OK, what that does is stack the columns on each category on the horizontal axis. Now, it works exactly the same for horizontal bar charts. So I'd click somewhere in my data or I'd select the data. I'd go to the Insert tab on the ribbon over to my column and bar chart button, and the bar charts are down here. So this one is a clustered bar chart, and this one is a stacked bar chart. But you can see it's exactly the same options as we had with the column chart. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.